As a Portland police officer, I want to apologize for my contribution to any loss of trust to that community that I serve. In a highly unusual move, a Portland police officer issued a public apology. Officer Corey Budworth expressed remorse for hitting photographer Terry Jacobs in the head with a baton during the 2020 racial justice protests. During my reflection of the evening, the force used against Ms. Jacobs could have been avoided, and I'm sorry, Ms. Jacobs, for unnecessarily hitting you in the head with my baton. The apology comes just days after prosecutors dismissed a fourth-degree misdemeanor assault charge against Budworth. The case stems from an incident that occurred during a violent night of protest on August 18, 2020. Video shared on social media shows Officer Budworth knocked Jacobs down, then hit her in the head again with a baton when she was on the ground. At the time, Budworth was assigned to the Portland Police Bureau's Rapid Response Team, which handles crowd control. The entire rapid response team resigned following a grand jury indictment in the case. I understand the harm that was caused was not limited to Ms. Jacobs and was felt by others in the community when there was a great distrust of law enforcement. Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt said the case was dismissed after the officer and victim met several times through the restorative justice process. Uh, we were ready to go to trial. Uh, we certainly would have been able to do that. I think in the end that wouldn't have been uh, the best result uh, for our community because then both sides would, one side would win, one side would lose, and we'd walk away from that uh, with hard feelings. In a statement, the victim explained, although it can't change what happened to me that night, he admitted that his actions were wrong and pledged to do better himself as well as facilitate changes in the PPB they would help prevent this type of police brutality from happening in the future. Jacobs filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city of Portland stemming from the incident. The city agreed to pay her $50,000 to settle the case. Following the indictment, the Portland Police Officers Union described this case as, quote, politically driven. Well, today, the union seemed to use a different tone, expressing a need for the community to address problems together and, quote, change the trajectory of the conversation. Officer Budworth is expected to return to duty. He's been on administrative leave for the past two years.